Hi Aries, this is Marishi, your are my channel Shaloka. I've already pulled out a few cards to see what is your situation right now and what you need to know for this week of November 2019. I've used two different decks. In the first deck, we have got the Seven of Cups in Reverse and the Princess of Wands. Behind the deck is a Prince of Pentacles. It seems like um, you have been mulling over a situation for quite some time. It was stressing you out. Okay, it was, it might be still stressing you out because you might have lost on something big. Okay, so uh, for a very long time, or at least in the recent past, you might have been mulling over something uh, which is thought there is still, still a possibility in things happening. Whatever that situation was, you were optimistic that it might happen. But right now, I see you finally transitioning from there, from that thought process. You were giving up. You literally seeing things as it is and you're willing to, um, you know, move on. You're willing to move on. Yeah? Before... Even if, you know, there seems to be an opportunity which was not yours, which was not meant to be yours, you kept waiting, you kept thinking about it for some time, thinking one day you will be able to get it, okay? Now, you just, you will, there's still other, other better things out there which is in reach, yeah? And this, what you're looking at is just the reflection. It's just a mirage, you know? How much ever you chase it, you're never going to get it. You're not able to, you know, grab it. Hmm? So now, you're realizing the fact, the reality of things. And I see you giving up on that idea which you had, which is just an illusion. And I see you focusing on what could be achieved, which is the standing cup, which is full, which is right beside you. So it's, it, you're going after things which is in reach and not thinking about things, moving on from things which was just, you know, up in the clouds for you, which was out of reach. Okay. Page of Wands taking charge of the situation and moving towards it. It's almost like baby steps, but still initiating. Initiating in moving forward to better things, to whatever is out there, which can be achieved. Again, Prince of Pentacles, even if it seems like, you know, it's going to be a very slow moving energy, you are going to, you're going for it actually. You're done waiting for things which is not happening. You are much more focused on things which is out there, which you might be able to manifest. And you're forgetting about things which never worked. Which seemed like the reason you might have waited because you might have, this is the best thing which would have happened to me. But it, is, it's, it wasn't meant for you. It's out of reach. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. How much ever you dreamt about it, it wasn't for you. It wasn't happening. So why waste time thinking about something which you're never going to achieve? Move on. Move on to maybe smaller things which you can, you know, uh, invest in and, you know, grow together or, you know, make it better and into something which is, you know, later on becomes big. Yeah? So slow moving, baby steps. One day you will reach there. But I like the idea, uh, energy that you are moving on. You're not wasting your time anymore, okay? You have got the Prince of Pentacles, slow moving energy, very calculated steps. It's not just, you know, out of the blue you're jumping. You've thought about it. You've thought what is best for you. Very calculated steps towards the future. Yes, justice, what is right. You understand what is right, what is, uh, you know, what is practical, what is sensible. What is the right thing to do? And you're charging forward. You're moving towards it. Hmm? Fertility in reverse and the four of swords. 
Boris Wood is something, um, this never manifested. How much of you try to, you know, uh, you know, how much of you put in the efforts or you waited or you just put in your energy, blah, blah, blah. It just never manifested, okay? Uh, whatever this lady was putting in this uh, mixture up there, the ingredients, what she was putting, and uh, there is something brewing up. It's almost like a, you know, spell, spell work. Okay, but what I'm saying, uh, what I'm trying to say is, whatever you were trying to manifest, that wasn't working. Okay, you thought about the rainbow outside. Okay, outside this window or something, you know, it's going to, you know, bloom into something beautiful, and you were walking towards it. You know, literally up. You know, you were dreaming for things to happen with that ace of pentacles. But now you're realizing you need to get out of that idea. It's going to work and give up on that. Okay? Fertility in reverse. It's never going to, you know, stick. It's never going to be fertile. How much ever you, you know, put in the water or you put in anything into it, it's never meant to grow. It's never meant for you. Hmm? So that realization is coming through. For a swords in reverse, for some time you were like this nasty person. <laughs> the person who is very sulky, who is sitting under the tree and who is like, huh? like, why is it not happening? Why is it not working? Why? Yeah, you're just wasting your time. Even with the seven of cups here, literally somebody who is just, you know, looking into the reflection of the water and wondering, uh, you know, these cups in the water, you know, it's, it's not even tangible. You cannot... You know, have it. It's just a reflection of what is there in your head. What do you really want? You know, what are you dreaming about? It's just a reflection of your thoughts. But now you're getting out of it. Even with the forest words, you're done, you know, sulking over what could it could have been. How much ever it pained you that it not, uh, you know, it did not work. It did not get fertile. You're moving on from there. You're healing from that. You're done with that phase about, you know, thinking what it could have been. Hmm? High time. Nine of Pentacles. When, oh, when you were in the stage, you you were pretty much unhappy. Okay, whatever that situation was, was making you very unhappy with your whole uh, uh, environment, the surrounding. You just did not like wh whatever was going on, your situation. Right? Yes. Five Pentacles. You just... If you look at this lady, this lady is like, uh, that same energy, like always, you know, whining, moaning over what it could have been and, you know, how, how depressed are you with this? You know, there is a beautiful sun out there, go out there and enjoy life, but here you're standing over here again. Thinking about the same energy, whatever you have lost. Okay? Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Just unhappy. Time to let go. Time to let go of whatever it was. Hmm? Get out of that energy which is, you know, which is making you feel very much stranded okay because it did not work out whatever it is just just tend to just let go release yourself from that energy okay because it's not good yeah have the clarity in your head with the ace of swords have clarity you know break oh break through all this um, emotional baggage which you're having see through it it's time to see through it it's time to stop sulking it's time to get over it Hmm? Ten of Swords again. Ten of Swords is really um, in reverse is releasing yourself. Whatever did not work out, okay, it might have you know depleted you, deflated you, okay. Why didn't it work out? You know, why it's always me? Blah blah blah. Just get over it. Release yourself. Release that from the situation because there is better things out there. Yes. There is better things out there. You need to change your dream, if that makes sense. Look for something. There is, it's just not, people don't have, people are greedy in that way. I'm not going to stick with just one dream. I have a couple of dreams, 11 dreams at least, yeah? 
once that 11 dreams are done, maybe by the time 9 dreams are done, I'm going to make another list, adding up 7 more. I'm not good. I am never going to stop. Yeah? So, change your dreams. There is things out there which is much more better than you dreamt about. Shoot for the stars, actually. Shoot for the stars. We hmm? get up there and you know think something much more better and go for that because I see you charging forward. I very much see you charging forward. Baby steps, but still you are moving on with the princess of uh, princess of wands. You are initiating. Okay, you're done with sitting and crying over whatever has been lost. Now you're thinking about what. You know what it could be like the reality what is possible actually and you're charging for what even with the knight of pentacles how much of a time is it going to take you going to go for it yes queen of cups and the hermit you you have already assessed it i'm not going to look at the next card because we need to move on um queen of cups very much you know now that you are almost i would say you're grown up yeah you you've grown up yeah, you've taken your time, yeah, sulking like a little brat, but now I see you grown up, because now you're like adulthood, you're going out there because you have realized what is life, and what you can make out of it. Hmm? Queen of Cups is somebody who's like willing to offer, you know, you just cannot sit and sulk and say, Ah, my life is doomed because it did not work out, blah, blah, blah. No. You still have so much to offer. You still have so much to attain in life. And you're seeing it. You're seeing the wiser side of life with the hermit energy. See the moon, full moon, crescent. Hmm? It's almost like, you know, you have been illuminated. What is your purpose? What, what you need to, you know, offer. What you really need to offer the world out there. You have so much to offer. You cannot sit and whine on something which never worked. You cannot waste your life like that. Well, you really, this, this lady is offering a cup to the world out there. This man is literally, the hermit is actually wise and he's, he's showing the lamp you're showing the light in the, in the darkness. You have so much to offer. That's why I said you just, you know, overnight, you've just grown up. Mm. Just been enlightened. Mm. Even if you don't have a key to life, you have so much to offer. Actually beautiful energy. Who am I speaking to? The Aries. Wow. Okay. I need to make this quick. So, yeah, because clarity has come through. You, you're having a breakthrough moment. Okay, within your situation. Moving on. We've got the Three of Wands in reverse. We've got the Seven of Swords. We've got the Moon card. Again, the Moon card. Not again, but I see the. Uh, I saw the Moon twice earlier. Seven of Swords is a sneaky energy, okay, going out there, you know, but what I'm picking out from these cards is, you don't have the support of other people, very strong energy for some of you out there, okay, you don't have the support of other people, but yet, you're deciding to go solo, you're deciding to go solo, because you are called upon to do it how much ever people are going to oppose you it doesn't matter anymore it really doesn't matter anymore you're very unhappy with your right uh, current situation and you're going to do something about it okay i will say people are not showing you the direction but you're literally sneaking out by yourself to find your way It's almost like you're going to seek out your journey by yourself. You don't, you don't need others. 
there, an, there is an unhappiness, okay, which is attached, but it's almost like you have to do it. And I, I also want to say, even if you feel like um, no one is watching, you still have a cat who is watching. It's almost like, you know, your higher self, you're being guided to take this journey by yourself. It's, it's not a negative card to me in your reading because it's sneaking out, it's doing things behind people's back, but this is almost like, you know, what I'm getting out of uh, up for you is like, you are doing it solo, by yourself, to see what's out there. Even with um, the Princess of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles, it's almost like you are taking this journey, yeah? To move forward in life. And you being watched over, whoever it is, I think you being watched over. You're being supported in your journey. How much ever you feel you are alone right now, okay, with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Yes, Eight of Coins. How much of it you feel, um, you know, you have to do it by yourself with the Eight of Coins? I want to say, invisible forces are, it's a little too much, but I'm going to put it out there. You're going to be supported by the invisible forces, which is out there. Which is much better support than anybody who, who is in the physical realm. Anyways, moving on. Fire swords in reverse. It's it's almost like uh, you are willing to fight, uh, fight. Yeah, it's almost like you are challenging faith that you can do this. Okay, if if all the roads are blocked, you're going to, you're not going to stop. It's it's not going to stop. Okay, three of wands in reverse. It's like you don't see the way out. If you look at this. Uh, there are people and one of them is actually pointing out the the center the girl in the center is actually pointing out that that is where I want to go let's go there okay but here it's almost like you are lost you don't know where to go yet you are you are sneaking out I'm sure again okay? this is like an illusion card as well there is uncertainty about it there is an uncertainty about the direction which you're going to take. Okay? You're going to climb out of the window, but you don't know where you're going. You haven't made the plan. You're just going by the, you know, spontaneously. Wherever it's going to lead you, you're going. Anyways. Yeah? Five swords, it's almost like nothing is going to stop you. How much ever it seems like everything is blocked, it doesn't matter. Because you are... You've already made up your mind that, yeah, this is it. I need to keep moving. How much ever hurdles is going to come my way, I'm going to find it. Because hmm? you see, there is an angel who's, uh, who's literally having the sword on this person's neck. She has a foot on, her, uh, on his neck. It's almost like you're being challenged. But here you're fighting the challenges. Whatever is blocking you, whatever is stopping you, whatever seems uncertain, you're going to go that path, you're going to take that journey. Hmm? Yes, share it. Ace of Pentacles. Actually a beautiful reading. You know, you're looking at a bigger picture. You're going out there because we have got the Prince of Pentacles. Your aim is like from Prince of Pentacles, you're going for, I did say about the Ace of Pentacles, right? You know, you, you can grow it into something big and finally it will become the Ace of Pentacles. Right now it's small, but it still has a potential, right? So what you're aiming is, when you do this, what your real intention is to achieve this, the bigger side of things. It's not just, you know, just for the heck of it, no. You're very much determined because that comes with the chariot energy. This girl is very much, uh, sorry, prepared 
not resourceful in the sense like she doesn't have a car or something she's just on a bike whatever she has she's taken everything to be prepared for a journey which is very much um, you know which might you know so many hurdles will come but she's well prepared with whatever she has okay it's going to be sunset here she just has a torch she just has a torch and she's holding onto the torch with one hand she's prepared in the darkness nothing is going to stop her she's going to move on okay she's not going to stop because it's going to get dark she's going to just light the torch and move on she is focused she she has a plan she wants to reach somewhere she will reach she has a compass which is hanging on her neck hmm? she doesn't need a gps she doesn't need a gps she's not going to wait for somebody to tell her which direction to go she doesn't want to be lost Yet she's prepared. I'm sure she has a map in, <laughs> inside a bag or something. Hmm? Yeah, there are a couple of books. There is uh, suitcases on the back of her. You know, very much prepared. Yeah, you're literally sneaking out, but it's not just, you know, for the heck of it. You have this intention. Now you're going behind this. As long as I want to say, you go out um, at 20 years old, you sneak out of your house and then um, eight, years, eight years later you come back to your home, you come back to your mother and you say you are a billionaire, that kind of a, you know, that kind of energy, you know, you're going behind something big, you have this plan in your head and you're going to make it work. Okay, right now things are very much you don't like your current uh, situation and you're going to do something about it which is brilliant which is yes just what i was thinking king of uh, king of coins in reverse you're pretty much unbalanced like financially as well okay you don't like your situation nothing is working out you don't have the support of people as well but then you're going to do everything in your power okay everything in your power you know to change things around Hierophant and the Queen of Wands in reverse. Beautiful. Because you're being guided somehow. The high priestess. You know you can make it happen. You you know you can make it happen and you're not going to give up on that. I need to stop here. This is Marishi, you're my channel to look at. Until next week, bye bye.